Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, ooh, uh, last time we were here, we had to go and get some medicine for this guy. We had a massive argument, and yeah, so we have to, um, have to see, talk to everybody and all the rest of it. You're a pretty good chap. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last <sighs> cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I am. Disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten Ooh. about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that wow. dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Uh, yeah. Doesn't want to get um. So that guy saved you. That guy saved you. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they Zombies. are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda hmm. cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, so what are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't yeah. get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Okay. Uh, volume. Nope. Power? Uh, uh, let's see here. No batteries. But no batteries. <laughs> That's the reason why like it won't it? work. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? Looking for batteries. Hey, Carly. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real what? hard hitting stuff. Sounds I don't. worth it. Um. I better get back. Okay, to it. I'll um. Yep. I'll leave you to it. Uh. So, let's talk to Clementine. Clementine, let's have a word. Hey there. Hi. Let's Any have a look. Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We should get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. So awkward. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. You are so bad. Yep. Well, sit you down. are so bad, okay. man. Oh, I can't go. I can't go this way. Okay, let's have a look for. Uh, let's talk to these guys. Hello. Yes. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Hello, Lee and Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option no. right now. I'm just <clears throat> trying to keep him relaxed. Yeah, he's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Well, it kinda is his fault. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. No. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. Sorry about the dingle. With the sitter. It wasn't good. No. Well, uh, 
She's lucky to have. Yeah, she is lucky, isn't she? Uh, where are you from here? You're from here. I work at Warner Robins, the airport ah. base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane if I'm hmm. lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Uh, that one. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Um. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Did you know <clears throat> anybody here? Yeah, the owners. They were. Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found uh... an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this. What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Why did the screen change? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Ah, oh, what's that? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Where is it? I know, hon. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it looks like a bar. Anybody? You have this. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. That'll be two pound ninety-nine. I know where the Mac is. Two dollars ninety-nine. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Can I speak to you? Can I speak to you, please? I want to speak to you. Ah, there we go. Talk to his belly. Hey Lee, really gave that old man hell. Yeah, we got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, we gotta stick together. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a <clears throat> shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's tough. It's really tough. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right yeah, there. Definitely. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can no. do that. <laughs> tough as nails. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Ah. Um... They own this place. They uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before yeah. we got Yeah. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Yeah. You guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been. He's not life. speaking much, is he? Lee. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Very true, actually. I guess. Work on instinct. And so Try to let it go. Oh, Ken. You, um... You've got good intentions, you've got a good heart. Try to get some rest, hun. Well, How can I with those no, things no, it's still the same out there? Thing. That one. What's that? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a battery. So look at the invisible. Oh no, the comics. Oh, greetings cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead. Cards. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I love it. I haven't spoken to you yet, Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? 
<laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Hmm. Oh, Let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. True. We don't want to have them banging on the door. Okay. Let's just have a look outside. Jesus. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. That guy's not getting up anytime soon. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Yeah. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Thing is, if they're dead, so. all you need to do is wait and then they decompose. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. You, you there. Hello. Look at the one trapped over there. Better than uh, us, huh? Be effort. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Uh No, it's just sad. Fucked up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's his brother, probably. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Okay, anything else we need there? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hello. It's a combination lock. Hello. No, that's a bad idea. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Ah. Okay, anything else we can find? We've done that one. Done that. And we've done him and him. Done that. Have a word with you. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Talk to Dagmar. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. On the computer. What about you? Uh, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, yeah I did. Good people. Talk to Dagmar. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up. Well. Yeah. Talk to Dagmar. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. You know. <laughs> Lily doesn't take any crap. Yeah. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Part of my friend. Yeah, you you can be, you can have stronger language. Okay, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Right. Okay. We've got everything we need from in from out here. So we need to get a distract. Well, we first of all we need to find, um, who if that guy worked here. Hang on. Battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Okay. Where's the other battery? Central high tech state. 
papers a week old. Feels like years. Yeah. Anything over there? Nope. 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 Okay. Oh. Hello. More food. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can actually give it to Clementine. No, we can't. Hang on. What's that? What is it? Oh, oh, I've got more food. I still got the bandage. Hey, let's have a look. See, let's have a look inside. Right. Ugh. Why is Clementine with us? Why is she with us? Oh, well, we are a team after all. I can't. I can't think about them in here. It's gonna talk to Clementine. Yes. How you doing? Okay. Have a conversation. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. Yeah. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Uh... Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay, exit. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Trying to find another battery. Uh. And. And. That's the first aid kit. Anything from around here? Nope. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Let's have a look around here. Hopefully the camera changes. No, the camera does not change. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. Oh. Look at Alley. This door leads to the back alley. Okay. Let's have a look at the bedding. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was mm -hmm. hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Yeah, maybe. But I did see that. Which can prove that our brother's there. Yeah. Yeah. Find anything? <laughs> uh photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Do you? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really mm. care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh... The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care yeah. of. Yeah. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. You know. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I could have gone a lot better, but never mind, eh? Okay. Is there anything else here that we need? Because we've done that. Have a look at this. First aid kit. Things I take it. I would take that first aid kit. Okay. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee. 
you. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Yeah. Come on then, Clem. Okay, let's... Hang on, there we go. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay, let's go... No, don't want that. Okay, let's have... Can we give him... Yeah, we can give him food. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Thank you. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Ooh. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump Ooh, on there. me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Hopefully. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? Cool. I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah. Okay, right, I think I'm going to end it here. We've actually done a little bit of progress, so and it's coming up to about 25 minutes now. So, yeah, I will be doing another episode today um, after this one, as soon as everything's edited and such, so I can actually get it online and such, because I don't want to do too much and lengthen the process out too much. But anyway, I will see you in the next episode, guys, and take care.